This is the demo of a little paint type program I wrote when I was 15 years old. The comment at the top of the source file, which I still got, says that it was started in March of 1996. My best recollection was that it was the result of a contest that I formed between myself and a friend to make an awesome program over the summer. March seems a little early to have started for a summer project, but nonetheless, that's my best recollection. As you can see, there's a variety of tools. Here's the pencil. There's an eraser. You can draw straight lines, of course, and a variety of colors. And there's even a crazy little star tool that will just continually draw lines from the first point you select to any other point that you drag your mouse to. You can draw square outlines. You can draw filled squares. You can draw circle outlines. And you can draw filled circles. Let's clear some of this noise out. There's an ellipse tool. That, of course, will draw ellipses or filled ellipses. Ooh. Filled ellipses tool seems to have a bug. You can draw text. You can draw text with shadows. You can draw text with underlines, and even with, if you're crazy enough, both shadows and underlines. There's also an arbitrary polygon tool, which will draw triangles rather well. And it does a pretty good job of hexagon, excuse me, pentagons as well. But once you get much larger than an octagon, they seem to be much less useful. There's a simple spray can tool. This is an MS Paint clone, after all. And a little eyedropper, as if you couldn't pick the colors yourself from the tools here on the side. As best I recall, this little scissors icon would have been a cut tool. I don't think I ever had a selection tool, so it never did anything. As you can tell, there's a clear tool which actually just fills the entire screen with your currently selected background color. If you go drawing boxes and you decide you don't like one, you can undo the last step. There's also save and load. Let's demo that real quick with a smiley face. I can draw some really uneven eyes and an awful smile in there. And if I save it as smiley, it takes a while. It draws a little line across the screen as it saves the file. And then if I do something crazy like clear it out, I can load my smiley right back in and it fails. That's too bad. But this is the paint program that I wrote, again, back when I was 15 years old. I didn't quite finish it, as you can see, but it works pretty well. Last thing I'll try is the paint bucket or fill tool. That was always one of the worst. It might fill in the square, all right.
Oh, it got most of the way. But now the program has crashed. Anyways, hope you liked the demo.